today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos! We have two of these Walmart Chaos six packs. Haven't opened any of these in a while, so I thought I'd take them for a spin. And they are clearly inferior to the Chaos packs that I put together. I'll pop a link up in the corner there, you can check those out to the complete playlist. Mine are loaded with much more value, but anyway, let's get stuck into it. See what goodies we have here today. Okay, War of the Spark, Armand Kit. We get a Beast Whisperer. So let's crank the lighting here. So Beast Whisperer Foil, Creature Elf Druid. 2-3 for 4. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Okay, so not terribly exciting. Okay, what else? Fate Reforged. We get a Hour of Dev, Guilds of Ravnica, and Ravnica Allegiance. Okay, so the usual sort of selection out of these. So let's go, we'll group them together. How about that? And we'll do Fate Reforged last. Okay, War of the Spark. So have you picked any of these things up? How did you do? Um, the foils are usually uninspiring, but you're, you're usually paying about, you know, six packs worth, so it's not too bad. Okay, we have a Makeshift Battalion, Contentious Plan, Summit Sprint, Martyr for the Cause, Aid the Fallen, Primordial Worm, Trusted Pegasus, Band Together, Spellgorger Weird, Arboreal Grazer, and Uncommon's Mo Loyal Companion, Price of Betrayal. We get a Kaya, Bane of the Dead, Planeswalker. And the rare is Dreadhorde Arcanist. Creature, Zombie Wizard, 1 3 for 2. With Trample, whenever Dreadhorde Arcanist attacks, you may cast target instant or sorcery card with Command Mana Cost less than or equal to Dreadhorde Arcanist's power from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that card will be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Alright, not bad, an island and an assassin token. On to Ravnica Allegiance, hunting for shocklands here, people. Okay, we've got Bring to Trial, Coral Commando, Carrion Imp, Sagittar's Volley, Root Snare, Azorius Locket, Syndicate Messenger, Clear the mind and watch some MTG Unpacked videos. Rafter Demon. Skewer the critics. And Uncommons. We've been trolled by the Troll Bread Guardian. Troll Frog Warrior. Gatebreaker Ram. Smelt Ward Ignis. And a Mythic Spawn of Mayhem. 4-4 for 4, 4, 4. Creature Demon. Spectacle 1 and 2 Black. You may cast this card for its spectacle cost. Rather than its mana cost, if an opponent lost life this turn, so it has flying and trample. Beginning of your upkeep, spawn of mayhem does one damage to each player. Then if you have 10 or less life, put a plus one plus one counter on spawn of mayhem. Okay, so not the juiciest mythic, but still a mythic. Simic Guildgate and a zombie token. Okay, guilds. So another opportunity for shocklands here. We got a Loxodon Restorer, Demir Informant, Rubble Welt Boar, Skyline Scout, Wary Akapi, Dowser of Lights, Urban Utopia, Moodmark Painter, Is it Locket or Isn't It? Deadly Visit, and Uncommon's Arboretum Elemental, Wee Dragonauts, Book Devourer, There I Am, Fantastic. And the rare is split card, connive and concoct. So connive is a sorcery for four. Gain control of target creature with power two or less. Concoct is a sorcery for five. Surveil three, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay, and a Silesnia Gilgate and a soldier token. Okay, back to Armin Cat. Looking for the Juicy Invocations. Been a very long time since I've pulled any of those. That's the shiny goodness we're looking for. We start off with a Sacred Cat. Cancel. Bloodlust Inciter. Fan Bearer. Soul Stinger. Colossipede. Hooded Brawler. River Serpent. Unwavering Initiate. 
Sunscorch Desert and Unicorns Embalmers Tools. Enigma Drake. This one was pretty cool back in the day. Its power is equal to the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Very nice. Reduce to rubble. Split card. And the rare is Tenet Vizier of Nectaman. A legendary creature, human cleric, 2 2 2. Beginning of combat on your turn. Target creature token you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn and can't be blocked this turn. As Embalm, three white and a blue. So you pay that cost. It saw this card from your graveyard and you get to create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a white zombie human cleric with no mana cost. Embalm only as a sorcery. And a mountain and one of these little cards where you punch out the things here. Did anybody actually do that? Or did you just set it aside like everybody else? Okay, next hour of dev. Another opportunity for these shiny invocations. We have Disposal Mummy. Kenra Scrapper, Tragic Lesson, poor Kefnet, Frilled Sandwaller, Torment of Venom, Harrier Naga, Survivor's Encampment, Oketra's Avenger, Thorned Moloch, Sunset Pyramid, First Uncommon, Ominous Sphinx, Unraveling Mummy, and rare is Grind to Dust. So Grind is a sorcery for two per day, minus one, minus one counter, and each up to two target creatures, and Dust. Is a sorcery for four, has aftermath, so you can cast a spell only from your graveyard, then exile it. Exile any number of target creatures that have minus one, minus one counters on them. Okay, and a foil mythic! Whoa! Rezeketh the foul blooded! Legendary creature demon 8848 with flying and trample. Pay two life, suck another creature, you get to search your library for a card and put that card into your hand. Then shuffle your library. So not too often you get multiple mythics out of these. Pretty cool. And a mountain and a warrior token. And I think the value of those has crashed pretty well. So nothing too crazy, but two mythics. I'll take it. Next up, Fate Reforged. I'm thinking there could be shock lands here. So let's keep our eyes peeled. Or not shock lands, what are they called? Fetch lands. We get Ethereal Ambush. Dragon Bell Monk, Enhanced Awareness, Gomag Angler, Zombie Fish, that's the thing apparently, Refocus, Timo Runemark, Right Into Being, Bathe in Dragon Fire, Map the Wastes, Lightning Shrieker, and Uncommon's Wandering Champion, Fruit of the First Tree, Ugin's Construct, and Rare is Arc Bond, Instant for Three. Choose target creature. Whenever that creature is dealt damage this turn, it deals that much damage to each other creature and each player. Alright, and a Swiftwater Cliffs and a Spirit Token. Okay, so not bad. Two Mythics out of the first box, so I'm going to call that a win. Moving on to box number two, and what is your favourite set out of these? Uh, are you a fan of the Armanket block or the Khans block? Or perhaps the new Ravnica block, or the original Ravnica for that matter. Let's dig in. And we're probably going to have a very similar selection here. Okay, so what a surprise. Ravnica Allegiance, Guilds, Rivals of Ixalan, okay. Guilds of Ravnica. Oh, Return to Ravnica. Okay, we're going back a ways now, so... This is actually the first set in the new Pioneer format. Dominaria and another one of these dudes. Okay, so we'll set that aside. That's not too exciting. So this is a fun find here. So let's arrange stuff like so. We'll get our bland vegetables out of the way first. I don't think too many people are fans of the Ixalan block, but you never know. Leave a note in the comments. A lot of vampires in this one. We have Legion Conquistador, Sea Legs, Stampeding Horncrest, and Dinosaurs and Pirates, Moment of Craving, Naturalize, Dusk Legion Zealot, Martyr of Dusk, okay, so we're getting all the vampires today, Dark Inquiry, Soul of the Rapids, Evolving Wilds, and Uncommon's Forsaken Sanctuary, Siren Reaver, Needle Tooth Raptor, and rare is Zatalpa Primal Dawn, legendary creature, elder dinosaur, for eight for eight, with flying, double strike, vigilance, trample, and indestructible. 
who is a fan of the Elder Dinosaurs. Very cool. A Plains and the City's Blessing. As you may recall that mechanic. Okay, Guilds of Ravnica. Hunting for the Choplands. Which actually we have multiple chances because we've also got the Return to Ravnica. I think that had the Choplands in it as well. We've got Phyllis Halberdier. Righteous Blow. Leapfrog. Bartisan Bats. Divkaran Dissident, Candlelight Vigil, Piston Fist Cyclops, Pitiless Gorgon, Fresh Faced Recruit, Artful Takedown, and Uncommons. We get a split card here Integrity and Intervention, Undercity Necrolisk, Zombie Lizard, Rampaging Monument, and the rare is Venerated Loxodon, Creature Elephant Cleric 4 4 for 5 with Convoke. So your creatures can help cast a spell, which creature you tap while casting a spell pays for one or one mana of that creature's colour. And when it enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature that convoked it. Okay, a Golgari Goodgate and a Insect Token, Ravnica Allegiance. Okay, so let's see how we do. 10th District Veteran Prying Eyes Spear Spewer Creature Goblin Warrior yes the goblins are well represented Thirsting Shade Territorial Boar Wrecking Beast Scuttle Gator Crab Turtle Croc Applied Biomancy Gateway Plaza Debtors Transport and Uncommons love that artwork Bankrupt in Blood very striking Enraged Ceratoc Forbidding Spirit, and yes, Shockland, Breeding Pool, and Forest Island. Tap it for green or blue as it enters the battlefield. You may pay two life, hence Shockland. If you don't, it enters battlefield tapped. Very cool indeed. A Simic Gilgate and Human Token. All right, so I'm going to say, yeah, that's pretty much paid for half of that box already. On to Guilds. Let's dig into it. So we've got another opportunity for another shock land. That would be pretty crazy. We get a fearless halberdier, righteous blow, lip frog. These cards want to stick together. Dasser of lights, crawl foragers, garrison sergeant, deadly visit. Is it locket, direct current, and uncommon swarm guild mage? Ukrin Assassin, Rampaging Monument, and rare is Bounty of Might, Instant 4-6. So target creature gets plus 3, plus 3 until end of turn, repeated twice more. So I guess you can apply that to one creature or multiple creatures. That's why they've separated it out like that. And a foil, Sky Knight Legionnaire, with a Demir Guildgate and Elf Knight Token. Okay, on to Dominaria. Looking for a Teferi, I think is the heavy hitter here. We get a, or a, um, what's his name? Khan would be another good one. Talarian Scholar, Radiating Lightning, Pierce the Sky, Rat Colony, yes, creature rat. To one for two, Rat Colony gets plus one plus zero for each other rat you control. A deck can have any number of cards named Rat Colony. And if you did not see my secret lair Year of the Rat video, I'll pop a link up in the corner to that. Craziness, if you are a rat fan, you should have picked that up. Leave a note in the comments if you actually did. Okay, rats, fantastic. Cabal Evangel, Primordial Worm. Navigator's Compass, Cloud Reader Sphinx, Fiery Intervention, Uncommon's Nature's Spiral, The Eldest Reborn, one of these nice sagas, Sorcerer's Wand, a Foil, Pardic Wanderer, really keeping us in suspense for the rare here, and that's a Mythic, Naru Meha Master Wizard, Legendary Creature Human Wizard, 3-3 three, three for 4, with Flash, when it enters the battlefield, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control, we may choose new targets for the copy. Other wizards you control get plus one, plus one. So another low-end mythic here, but can't complain too much. We get an island and a sapling token. Rounding things out here with Return to Ravnica. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. 
hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And stay tuned, the Patron Snap Pack video coming up real soon. Always a fun time. We have Cancel Courses Accord. Trestle Troll, we have been trolled! Delightful Beast! Batterhorn, Rubbleback Rhino, Seller of Songbirds, Sure, Sure Shambler, Sewer Shambler, look at that zombie, fantastic! Gorehouse Chainwalker, what the heck is that? Gate Creeper Vine, and Uncorn's Phantom General, Tablet of the Guilds, Slime Molding, and rare is Wild Beastmaster, creature human shaman 113. Whenever Wild Beastmaster attacks each other, creature you control gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is Wild Beastmaster's power. And there's also a add for Jewels of the Planeswalkers 2013 expansion. Did you pick that up back in the day? Leave it out in the comments. And a mountain. And a big finish with a catacomb slug! Get a load of that foil, no less. There we have it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.